In this AutoCAD tutorial video, we're going to be going over the process to create a wall hung lamp, something like this. So the wedge shaped brown portion here, that's what's going up against the wall. And then we have the metal conduit and the lamp shade. So we're gonna go ahead and open up a new drawing. And we have it set up right now in two different viewports with the front viewport on the left, a southwest isometric on the right, and then down at the bottom of the screen we have on ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking. So the first thing we're going to tackle is the piece that mounts to the wall. So we're going to start with a line, and in our front viewport we'll just make a vertical 8 inch line. Next to that, we're going to construct with simple lines a one inch triangle. We'll bring one inch up from the midpoint and connect those lines back. We'll erase that center line and join it all together. Once it's joined together, we'll move it to the top of that line. We can take a look at this in the left viewport now. And if we rotate that triangle, we'll be able to loft it and make a three-dimensional shape. So we're going to click on that triangle right here. You can see it over on the side. Pick the top as the base point, and we'll say 45 degrees. OK. Then we'll use Mirror select that triangle and mirror it across the midpoint so that this is what it looks like from the side and if we look in our isometric view it looks a little weird but we can do a little rotate and see that we have this kind of wedge shape created. I'll type in loft. I'm going to pick these two triangles and simply hit enter and enter again. Now if I change that from 2D wireframe to conceptual, I can rotate around and you can see we've created that wedge type of shape that's going to go up against the wall. In my left view, I can go ahead and take a polyline And I'm going to create a polyline coming out from the bottom here. I'm going to go straight up 15 inches, out 8, and then I think down maybe another 8. No, 8's too far. Let's do 5. Okay. So once we get that, we can do a fillet with a radius of 2 for a polyline and we can curve those ends. Now that we have that shape, we can put a circle on the end with a radius of 0.1 and we can do a simple sweep and sweep the circle, enter, along that line. Now we can do a move and we'll move this shape back and we'll snap it to this point. I'll look at it in a top view. That looks pretty good. And I think what I'd like to do is just do and do another simple move and move it forward just a little bit, point 0.1, so it's not tight up against the back. If we look at it in, for example, a right view, you can see that the end is just sticking out here, which is definitely fine. But if you'd like, we could do a move, grab that, and we'll just move it down maybe one inch so it sticks out just a little farther. Okay. Now that we have our conduit created, what we could do is actually copy this and subtract it out so it's not a solid going through a solid. What I'll do is say copy. I'll select that, grab the end, and move it out 12 inches, enter, then I'll do subtract, 
select the solid base that's up against the wall, enter, the metal conduit, enter, and you'll see over in this view, we've managed to cut a hole through. And then we can just say move, grab this piece again, and we'll move it back 12 inches and it'll go right into place. There we go. Okay, now we just want to make a simple shade. So in my southwest view, I'm going to grab a circle and we'll make a few off to the side. The first one, I'll do a 0.1 radius. I'm going to draw a line coming down from that midpoint straight down just one inch and I'm going to draw another circle coming from that point out with a radius of two. Then I will use loft I will pick these two circles, enter, and this time I'll type in S for settings because I would like to say normal to and change the normal to any one of these options would be good, but all cross sections gives it sort of a nice acorn shape. So I'll say OK. And there we'll have the top of our lamp. Then I'm going to draw another set of circles. So I'll draw one here off to the side. And I'll do this one with a radius of two. I'm going to do a line as a guide down the middle. This isn't necessary, but it's kind of nice as a way to find where you're going. So I'll draw a line. Now it's going to have it come down eight inches. I am going to draw another circle from this point out with a radius of three. I'll move this circle down from its center point down four, and then I will copy this top circle from its center point down to the bottom. Once I get to this point, I can once again use a loft, select all three, and that looks pretty good, so I'll just hit enter and enter again. At this point, I have a solid, almost drum shape, so I'm going to do X for explode to explode this solid, and then I can select the top and delete it I'll just orbit around the bottom. Click that bottom part, hit delete. And now we have the lampshade. At this point, I could get rid of that center line. I don't need that anymore. I will move this top in place. Let's change my shade to 2D. It'll be a little bit easier. Erase that line. And then we'll move the shade. from its center point to the center point right here. If it lets me find it, there we go. Great, I'm gonna change this from 2D wireframe to something like X-ray so you can see through it a little bit better. Now we can orbit around and take a look at our wall mounted lamp.